Alright, it's Saturday, so that means it's the weekly time to go mow my grandmother's lawn for her. Every Saturday, I drop over, mow the lawn, we have coffee, enjoy the evening, and yeah, that's the task there now. So, let's go do it. Yeah, it was going to be, I think, 37 weeks or something like that. I noticed that my grandmother's lawn has a bunch of little cute strawberries and I just can't seem to just cut them up with the lawnmower so I picked a few so I can eat them after I'm done. You can't beat wild strawberries, that's for sure. Okay, but why am I having nostalgia over these songs? This literally sounds like one scotch, one bourbon, one beer song. Anyway, let's get back to it.
perfect. All done. Oh, there's my sandals. Fun little fact, this actually used to be my grandmother's outhouse back in the day. And now it's her little shed. Got stuff around the table now. Yeah, I'm all done, but I'm having trouble locking the lock. Oh. It's a little tricky, I haven't locked it before. Yeah, well you don't lock it with the key. Oh, it must just be real rusty. <laughs> no, I never did lock her with the key. Oh. This is what we want to do. Perfect. Thank, thank you very much. Step under the perfect. You're right in time. I told you. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Take yours. Thank oh, yeah. You. Does it look good to you? Excellent. You've done an excellent job, girl. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. I may not leave, let you leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for supper. Yep. I got good time management. Good time management. She's finished. That's fine. Oven's off now, thank God. Wow, that looks nice. Thank you. All right, I'm all done mowing the lawn, all done showering up, all good and clean again. It was a pretty good, decent job, honestly. It was plus 33 out, and it's very humid, so. But we get it done on Saturdays regardless, so it's all done. My grandmother's super happy. I'm happy with that. All washed up, I think we're going to go hit up the beach, but first I wanted to show you guys these cute little... Native earrings that I got from uh, the powwow. Oh, also I got this clip buckle thingy. Yeah, pretty cool. 15 bucks and five bucks, so can't go wrong with that. I'll show you guys the other pair that I got as well. So cute. Uh, we'll properly show them. But I think they're really nice, honestly, and they're ho hand homemade. Like a girl made these, so that's amazing. Not used to wearing earrings, so my earlobes are a bit red. That's okay. I'm usually so rough and tough, like, I always gotta take my time doing this because I break things super easily. It's like I don't even know my own strength. Yeah, these are the earrings. These were $30. And I think that's a really fair price for being handmade, buying them from the girl that made them just meant a lot more to me instead of just going to like a generic store that just has a factory brand of these you know like then you're paying like 80 probably 100 dollars for them so i'm super happy with these i uh went to a lot of booths to find the particular ones that i liked and i'm really happy with them yeah just wanted to show you guys my little powwow haul Oh, also, my brother got something really cool. It's a little bear carved out of a chunk of wood and painted. This guy made it himself, and he was selling them there at his own booth, and that was just super cool. I'll show you a quick little picture of it in a few. But yeah. Oh, wow, they, these actually look better. Whatever. We're ready to hit up the beach. Let's get to it.
Well, I just found this and it's pretty cool. I'm always finding stuff on the beach. Yeah, thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call it a night, guys. Thanks for liking, watching, sharing, and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Coming up next, the annual Flat Bay Pow Wow. Stay tuned.